Right, right, today's little daddy rehab is one of my favorite single leg exercises called the skater squat. Now this is great for single leg knee control and strengthening, and it's really good for people who've got a bit of patellofemoral pain. Now, what you'll need is a little towel like this if you have floorboards. So if you've got floorboards like this, that's where one leg is gonna slide on, so you need a towel. If you don't have floorboards, you just got carpet, you're probably gonna have to do this in bare feet with socks, so you can slide your feet. But I'm gonna show you what it's like on floorboards. So what you have is one foot on the towel and one foot on a surface. You can both be on the floor. You can be on the, both on the floorboards. Today, I'm gonna to show you from the mat to the floorboard. So this leg is the one that's moving. This is the one that you're training, okay? With this exercise though, you've gotta make sure when you squat or you skate a squat, you're gonna look like someone who's skating on an ice rink, okay? It's pushing outwards. But this is the leg that you've got to focus on. This one is not doing the weight bearing. This one is doing the weight bearing. This one's simply a little bit of weight bearing and a bit of a guide because when I squat down, what I want to focus on is keeping my body weight from almost my head and my shoulder over my hip, over my knee, over my foot, okay? So I'm going to try and do a single leg squat on one leg. And as I go down, this leg's going out to the side and then I come back up. What I don't want to do is when I squat, is I shift my body weight over this way and put weight on this leg. So the idea is not to slide out and slide back. The idea is to simply slide this leg further outwards. Now, what happens is, the reason I'm doing that and not having it in the air is one, I've got a bit of stability control, which helps me with if I've got patellofemoral pain. If I'm a little bit weak here, this gives me a bit of confidence and stability. But as I load that leg outwards, I'm gonna to have to, my sort of center of mass goes to the right. Therefore, I'm gonna to have to work harder and harder here to counteract that. So it's a little bit different than doing, say, a step down or step backwards, where I'm just focusing on knee control here. And this exercise, obviously, I'm gonna to have to control it quite a lot. With this one, I don't have to worry so much about controlling my knee. I can just focus on my lateral hip strength and then enables me also to get deeper down in that squat. Because I've got the support here, when I drop down, I can actually go deeper through here than I could with a step down and back, okay? So this is like, it's one of my favorites because when I go lateral, you'll probably find people with patellofemoral pain actually can get lower than what they thought on a squat, and it also just forces that knee to almost keep in line. And so when you look on the side, I look like I'm going into quite a nice squat pattern, okay? You don't hinge too far forward, the knee travels nicely forward. But just make sure, a couple of tips with this one. When you squat down, again, try and keep that weight over your foot and this light, okay? Don't shift your weight off that leg, because the whole idea is to gain single leg strength. If I shift my weight here, I'm not training my leg properly on a single leg. So I've got to keep my weight here. You only go as low as you can control. If this knee starts diving in, that you don't go that far, okay? If you start fatiguing out, you don't go that far. The other thing you don't want to go too far is, if you go too far that way, you're gonna to have to start using your groins to pull yourself back up. Then you're gonna start straining those. So make sure that you're not pulling back with this leg. Don't try and pull your body weight back with your groins. You've actually just got to focus on squatting down and squatting up. So to bring that leg back in, you just push up with this leg. So I'm dropping down on one leg and pushing up with that leg. So this just slides in and back and forth, okay? Now, once you've got that mastered, the good idea is to add some load to this leg. Now, best way I find, use a power band. So this power band goes on the same shoulder and the same leg. So if I do that, put that on here, then I've got a constant load down. I don't have to worry about carrying weights or anything like that. This load is directly down on that side, okay? Which is a much nicer compressor force than weights out here. So again, I can work on controlling that knee far as I can go, driving back up. And again, with a, any sort of theraband, a power band resistance load like that, it's hard at the top when I've got my knee closed, when I'm not as vulnerable. When I get more vulnerable, when this tendon, say your quadriceps tendon or your patella tendon or even your glute is weak at this point, the band is less, okay? Not by much, but just enough to try and graduate 
that resistance. So it's like a graduated loading resistance down and up. So that's a good way of loading it up. There's my tip for the day. See you next time.